We've been a leader in banking for more than 100 years. You'll find us here, at home, on your phone, and everywhere you go. Renaissance Bank. Understanding you. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Sponsored by Renaissance Bank. Good morning and welcome to Daily Journal News Break for Monday, May 7th. I'm your host, Chris Kiefer, and we're going to talk about the top news and sports stories from Northeast Mississippi. But first, let's start with your weather forecast. Today, we're looking at partly cloudy skies with a high of 86 and a low of 57. Looking ahead at your three-day outlook, Tuesday, sunny with a high of 84 and a low of 59. Wednesday, cloudy with a high of 87 and a low of 65. And on Thursday, partly cloudy with a high of 90 and a low of 64. Let's take a look now at today's top headlines. Two Northeast Mississippi school districts are receiving grants to expand programs in science, technology, engineering, and math. The Mississippi Department of Education announced last week that Boonville, Corinth, and 11 other Mississippi school districts will share $886,000 to enhance or establish STEM programs in kindergarten through eighth grade. At Boonville Middle, the grant will mean more opportunities to engage students with new technologies. Principal Brad Mixon said it is important to expose students to technology that will be part of their futures. Boonville Middle currently has one 3D printer and plans to use the grant to purchase three more so that each grade has its own. Mixon also plans to use the money to purchase drones. The school also plans to start a STEM-specific fifth grade class next school year. In Corinth, the grant will be implemented at Corinth Elementary. North Mississippi native Paul Thorne didn't have to look further than his own backyard for inspiration on his latest album. The musician has released multiple studio albums during a career that has spanned more than 20 years, but for his new release, he tapped into his roots. Thorne said when he was growing up, his family attended two types of churches, white churches that sang a country western style of gospel music, and black churches that used blues with gospel lyrics. He said the new album features early 60s and 70s black gospel music. Don't Let the Devil Ride debuted on March 23rd. It landed in the top 20 gospel albums and reached number one in blues records, according to Billboard. Thorne said a large part of the inspiration goes to his father being a minister, which introduced him to different sounds. Now the album is the subject of a documentary film by Mississippi Public Broadcasting. It will premiere today at 8 p.m. The documentary also features those Thorne set out to make music with. That includes the Blind Boys of Alabama, the McCrary Sisters, Bonnie Bishop in the horn section of Preservation Hall Jazz Band. In about two months, Farmhouse will be moving to a new home. Now located in downtown Tupelo, the business will be moving west on Main Street into the historic Rankin House. It was a bittersweet decision for owner Bev Crossan, who also moved from McCullough Boulevard to the current downtown spot in 2013. Crossan said the larger space will make it easier to accommodate DIY workshops, artists' art camps, and paint parties. Farmhouse specializes in bedding, antiques, and home decor. Crossan has been looking for about a year for something close to downtown with good visibility, more space, and more available parking. The two-story Rankin House was built around the turn of the 20th century. It covers nearly 5,000 square feet, most recently a restaurant. The Rankin House includes a commercial kitchen, several private dining rooms, and upstairs living quarters. Crossan doesn't plan to make any elaborate changes to the house. Also. Sweet Tea and Biscuits will be adding a second, smaller location inside Farmhouse. And in sports, it took a few innings for the Mississippi State baseball team to find its offense on Sunday afternoon. But once it did, the Bulldogs scored enough runs to win their weekend series at Alabama. After being no hit for the first four innings, the Bulldogs came alive with five runs over the next two frames. That was enough for a 6-4 to four win on Sunday as Mississippi State took the three-game series two games to one. Mississippi State won on Friday and Alabama won Saturday's game. Hunter Stovall was 3-for-4 to lead the Bulldog offense. MSU improved to 26-22 and 22 overall and 11-13 and in the SEC. The Bulldogs are back in action against Troy in Hoover, Alabama on Wednesday. Meanwhile, the Ole Miss baseball team won 6-5 at South Carolina on Sunday after dropping the first two games of the series. The Rebels used a season-high four home runs and an outstanding relief performance by Parker Carassi. Chase Cockrell homered twice while Thomas Dillard and Nick Fortas each went deep. Karasi threw four scoreless innings and struck out four. Ole Miss improved to 36-16 and 16 overall and 13-11 and 11 in the SEC. The Rebels return home for an SEC series against Auburn that begins Thursday. 
And that does it for Newsbreak on this Monday. Don't forget that this show is just one of the many online offerings courtesy of the Daily Journal that gets you news off the page and on the go. Each story discussed today on Newsbreak can be found in your Daily Journal or online at thejournal.com, where you can also find a new episode of Newsbreak each weekday morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Kiefer. Have a great Monday.